Hey everyone, my name is Master Sturman, and welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we caught our brand new team member, Ninkata, or Ninkata, whatever you want to call it. And we got we battled Roxanne and got our very first gym badge. So that's all good and dandy, but I don't think I ever actually went up north of Rustboro, and I think there's. At least one battle up here, I know that for a fact. I may be thinking of the upper part of it, but... Oh, there's an item up here. Super Potion! Alright, that's... Pretty nice, you can get that before the gym as well, so... Yeah, if you want that, then definitely by all means get that. I thought there was like another trainer somewhere up here, but I guess not. No, I think I'm thinking of that girl up there for some reason, I don't know why. I just thought she was down the cliff lower. Anyway, so this guy here, who we helped in episode 4 already, jeez, or 5 actually, wanted us to head off and chase Team Aqua again, so, with our new team member in hand, that's probably what we're gonna do. Okay, what do you got? Youngster Joey. A chop. I actually think I sent out a pretty good option, because this, and Kata can't really be hurt by a chop that well. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. Um, I don't know. I know fighting's not good against Bug, but I don't know about the other, like, reverse of that. And I'm getting scared with having minus three in those stats, so, uh, yeah, let's switch out to Beautifly, who I think would be the better option here. Because Beautifly is... Let's face facts, this thing cannot do anything to Beautifly. Is this is literally the only thing that this thing knows? <clears throat> Beautifly also learned Absorb in the last part as well. Or no, it, was, it learned... We evolved uh, Silicon into Beautifly last time, and it learned Absorb when it evolved, so... <laughs> Low Kick isn't gonna do anything. Um, Machop's family is pretty bulky, I'm gonna give it that. It's definitely one of the bulkiest fighting types I know of. Kata grew to level 9, and learned Sand Attack, which unfortunately doesn't really do much besides lower accuracy, so... Alright. Uh, I already battled you. Uh, it sucks, because I think there's a lot of trainers on this route, but I don't think I can catch... I can do much with most of them until I, like, use something with Cut, which I really don't want to do yet. Um, I could teach him K to Cut, but I kind of want to wait until a little bit later when... Because by the time I'm going to need to backtrack to Rustboro, I'm is probably going to be the point where, uh... Um... Probably going to be around the point where Ninkata's evolves or at least is close to evolving so ooh, that did good damage for once sweet I don't really like being paralyzed but yeah I like the damage I'm doing with that so and leech life is otherwise a really weak attack but I know it's super effective so I'm just trying to get buddy here caught up in levels I doubt highly doubt that it's gonna be upon a good level for the by the time the next gym battle is ready but not great come on you seer leech life there we go uh paralysis if you don't know it slows the pokemon down by half speed and it um makes it so that they might not have they might have a 25 percent chance of not attacking so Alright, let's go to Shroomish. If it's another one, I'm probably just gonna... Oh, that was it for that battle, alright. I wasn't even paying attention. I don't really want to cut battles out that much, especially, like, um... Just because, but... Um... Also, on another kind of unrelated note... I think I sort of decided an abrupt nickname for my Mudkip already, so, um, lovely. 
Wismer, what are you doing, bud? So, for now, I think the voting for Mudkip is going to be off, because there is a nickname that I really like that I think would be really fitting if I taught that. Uh, skip, speeding up, cutting out the rest of this battle. That battle was really long and pointless. Um, let's get Beautifly in the... Er, no, I kind of want to keep Mudkip in there just in case uh, this hiker dude uses like a rock type. Ah, crap. I should have like ran there. Oh, well. So I guess I'm only fighting a hiker one-on-one -on -one now. Yeah, not even going to try to chant to do anything with this. I could use Beautifly's Absorb here, too, but I'm kind of worried it would have a Rock-type move. I don't see why it would at level 8, but you never know. I mean, we had trainers already using full restores in this game, so... Plus, Mudkip's generally pretty close to his evolution as well. Unfortunately, the nickname, I can't really give it, like, until anytime soon. And Bide is one of the most useless moves I've ever seen in my life, so I'm not going to teach that. So, yet I'm going to probably remember the time when Bide actually was the how I won the gym battle against uh, Gardenia and Pokemon Platinum. Oh my god, that, that was a horse crap battle, might I say. Okay, There's some good matchups here, actually. So, no, both my team mem both my permanent team members. I'm really surprised I'm getting this much use with um, Leech Life, because that's otherwise a really useless move. Yep, saw Geodude coming again. Alright, let's recover a decent amount of HP. Yeah. I think this is going to be like the remainder of this battle, so I think I'm just going to cut the rest of this out. Okay, finally took care of that. I was kind of predicting there to be just two Ge Geodudes and a Shroomish and a Lotad. Now, the thing about this here is that there's a lot of trainers beyond this point, but I don't have something that can use Cut yet, besides my permanent team member, which I don't really want to teach it. Yes, I would like to cut this tree down. HM Bud used cut, that's right. I ended up quickly catching a second in Kata because... Let's face facts, there's a lot of trainers here and a lot of good experience that I don't want to miss out on, so... We have quite a number of double battles here, and I would really like to take these on here because... I really would like the extra experience that these battles would give off. So... For now, I think I'm just going to speed the rest of this battle up here because I really don't have that much else to say. Oh boy, I think you know what time this is. Yep, Mudkip is evolving. If you can get this to happen before the fight with Roxanne, then you are set easily for that whole fight. But here we go. Mudkip has evolved into Marshchomp. Um, Marshchomp is honestly probably my least favorite of the Mudkip line, but I still really like it a lot too. And it's learning Mudshot, which is, unlike Bide, a really good move. A lot stronger than Mudslap, and it will be doing the most damage of any attack I have at the moment. So, for this early in the game, Mudshot is a fantastic move. Even then, it's an alright move, lowers, um, speed. Um. Alright, might as well do that. Uh. I think I'm gonna give, um. HM Bud some screen time here because. Ninkata is kind of. Eh. He's kind of getting a little low on PP. That's one thing I'll say about him. Kind of want to go get him some more. 
Ooh, a Ralts and a Mare. This would be fantastic if I actually had PP for Leech Life here, but... Eh, I think I'll manage. Because, uh, yeah. Leech Life, I ran out of use for that move. That's basically all of, all that that really is. This is going to recover a lot of HP. Meryl, Meryl is a pretty bulky Pokemon, so... Oh, wow, that Scratch actually did an okay amount. And Kata's actually getting good. Really surprised. Really good, actually. Anyways, uh, speeding up the rest of this battle here, too, because I really don't see much else. Finally over with that. That was a really long and annoying battle. I don't know what about it it was, but... I just felt like that one kind of drug on a little bit. I mean, I'm... S I'm s I always do these speed-ups like using the emulator speed up key just so that these battles don't drag on forever plus that saves me time in editing for like whatnot but okay so get some berries here I'm just gonna pick all these and be right back here in a okay sec. finally back from all that an ether which is a good reason why I'm heading back to the uh, Pokemon Center right now actually is because I need some PP hey, healing. Sorry about that. I am back finally. Ninkata's fully healed now. And I immediately proceed to run into another one after spending a few seconds trying to find one last video and this video for HM purposes. Lovely. Of course, that buddy Ninkata had to freaking get a stupid critical hit on mine, so. Anyways, um, I think there's something. Yeah, there's something over here, too, if you head up. X special, not too bad. And I think there's another item somewhere around here, actually. So let me just take some time to check all these spaces here. Okay, I have no idea if there is or not, but anyways. Oh, what a better to run on Mark Pico and I would jump by an odd thug. Scoundrel made off from my darling Pico. Rawr, Pico! Okay, old guy, we'll go find your Pico. Um, we're at a cave now, which I think this cave is the first introduction of where you can find Zubat in the wild. Don't quote me on that. Um, I would expect because it's Zubat. Otherwise, you can also find Wismer here, too. Um, yeah, Wismer, I actually once found a shiny Wismer in, em in a, another Emerald playthrough here once, which I think is one of few, like, two times I actually found a legit shiny in the wild. Um, oh, ah, dang it, didn't mean to do that. gonna run away from most of these battles there's really no purpose you find a pokeball up here which is nice like I said I like Explout as a Pokemon but yeah Grr, all it all the, that hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless and I think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere hey you so you want to battle me that's right team aqua grunt again I don't know if this, this is the same one from earlier but Considering he has a Poochiana that's only like two levels higher than the last one, I'm kind of in belief that it might be. And this is really good because this actually gives me a really nice tight matchup. Because Leech Life is actually super effective against this Pokemon. So... Oh, Sand Attack. You want to play that game. I could play that game too if you wanted me to, bud. I really don't know if you wanted me to. I don't know why I've been saying bud so much. I really... I don't even know, to be honest. How, why would you use that now? Your fate is sealed. Look at that. No damage run, and you were taken down by a freaking Ninkata. That's just... Oh, that is just sad. That is really sad. Huge amount of experience. Actually, that was really not that much. But oh well. That's right, your career did come to an end. This this is plain not right. The boss told me it would be this sick and easy to, job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. <laughs> you want to pack that badly? Take it. And we get the Devon goods. Pico! 
Pico, I'm glad you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and who are you? Ah, so you are Zach. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's any troubles, you don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the senior parable goods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Meow. So, I think that's where we're going to be heading next time. Back to see the old man, Mr. Briny, and his companion, Pico. I'll see you guys for that. That Ooh, what's this? Um, this guy was guarding this house last time. Oh, okay, this guy just sort of says some stuff about, uh, where our next, um... Huh. That's a little bit of foreshadowing for later. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.